What's going on YouTube, Geosnorite right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you who are waiting for the iOS 13 jailbreak to be released and for the iOS 12.4.1 and 12.4.2 jailbreak to be released. The Checkrain jailbreak has been released and is finally available. It says here, quote, Checkrain Beta 0.9 is now available on the official Checkrain website. This is an early release and as such, you should not be running it on your primary device. Please read the FAQ on the website for additional information. Now, if you go ahead here on the website now, you can see that you have the get beta now, which will basically download the file. It says in here it supports the iPhone 5s all the way up to the iPhone 10, and it supports the iOS 12.3 all the way up to the latest version available for these devices, which is basically the iOS 13.2.2 or 13.2, whatever version you happen to run. But it also supports the iOS 13.1.3, 13.2, 13.1, 13.1, 13.0, 12.4.2, 12.4.1, and so on, including 12.3.1 and 12.3. So basically all iOS versions starting with iOS 12.3 on the supported devices. However, there are a couple of caveats. This is a semi-tethered jailbreak, which means that you're going to need a computer every time you use the jailbreak. If you reboot your phone, if you want to enable again the jailbreak, you will have to connect it to a computer. Now, if you're pressing here, get the beta, there is only a Mac OS version for the moment. There is no other OS available no Windows and no Linux for the moment, but probably they will be available in the future. Now I'm going to show you how to install this, but there are a couple of devices that are currently not supported, for example iPad Air 2, iPad 5th generation and iPad Pro 1st generation, and of course these in here have limited support. But this is actually a very early beta, it says in here, quote, this release is an early beta preview and as such should not be installed on a primary device. We strongly recommend proceeding with caution. So if you experience any bugs, there is now a GitHub page available available in here for bug reports. So yeah, if you want to jailbreak your iOS 13 device, this is how you do it. You press download for macOS in here, and you're going to end up with a file that is basically Checkrain DMG. You double click and open it, and it's going to mount like this, which would allow you to basically install the Checkrain jailbreak application. You're going to have to keep this one, because every time you reboot your phone, you're going to have to revisit this application in here on the computer. Now, once you have that installed, you're just going to have to open it like this, and this is basically the jailbreak. Now, we need to connect the device to the computer. So as you can see, I connected the device, it says in here iPod Touch 7 generation, the iPod Touch 2019, iOS 13.1 connected in normal mode. I'm going to press start in here, and it says that it needs to be in DFU mode. So we're going to put it in DFU mode. It's going to basically give us a guide on how to do that. All right, so the device is now in recovery mode and I'm going to put it in DFU mode. As you can see in here, they do give you some information on how to do it. So let's just follow that in there. All right, so my device is now in DFU mode. It says in here, it entered DFU mode. And as you can see, it says exploiting. For the moment, I have nothing on the device, but it says booting now, so it does show the Apple logo. And yeah, I can see the jailbreak being started. It shows the uh, Checkrain application logo, and it shows in here a bunch of text. The uh, jailbreak apparently has been already installed. The device has booted, and I can see the um, clock and everything in there. And yeah, it's all done. That's basically it. I now have a Checkrain application on my screen. I'm going to connect the phone to the computer so that you can see what I see now. So after the device boots, you can see here that you have a Checkrain application. Now the device booted very, very quickly and the jailbreak procedure was very very fast. Now you don't have Cydia in here because you have the Checkrain application and when you open it, it basically gives you the option to install Cydia. Now in the future, in the next betas, you will be able to install multiple package managers. We do have Cydia for the moment, so I'm going to install Cydia as you can see from here and as you can see it's downloading the base system and all that jazz. So this may take a couple of minutes. I'm going to be right back once it's done. So just a minute passed and as you can see here I finally have Cydia and yes I am now jailed broken fully on iOS 13 on this device. This is the 2019 iPod which has been released in the spring and as you can see here I'm finally jailbroken on iOS 13. It says 13.1 running the Cydia in there. You have the packages and all that jazz, you can install whatever you want, but anyways it looks to be completely functional. So yeah, let's see in here, uh, we have these, so let's press install and confirm, and yeah, you can see that we're able to install tweaks and all that jazz with no problem on iOS 13. So definitely nice and it's very very easy to use. So yeah, if you want to install other package managers in the future, you will be able to install them through this loader in here. You can also restore the system if you have any problems, and for example 
probably want to get rid of the jailbreak or you want to get rid of the tweaks that do not work anymore and you want to start fresh. But anyways, this is basically Cydia, you can reinstall it, but you will be able to install Zebra in the future and possibly even Installer 5. So yeah, that's basically it. I'm jailbroken on iOS 13 and as you can see, all the applications that are installed in here and yeah, that's basically it. Now, every time you reboot your phone, you're going to have to reopen that application on the computer and of course, put the device in DFU mode and press that button. But but that's basically it. You cannot open this application in here and enable the jailbreak. This is not for enabling the jailbreak. When you restart your phone, that application will no longer open. So you are going to have to use the computer every time. But it's not that bad. Your phone will boot to stop without the jailbreak if you don't have a computer nearby. So yeah, that's basically it guys. As I said, it supports iOS 12.3 all the way up to the iOS 13.2.2 and it supports the iPhone 10 all the way down to the iPhone 5s. Thank you for watching. I am Geo Snow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.